Hey guys, hope all of you are doing good. Welcome back to the channel. We have just finished a mini SQL series. And if you've seen my previous video, I had shown how to install Anaconda for Python. And this is what we will be using to code in Python. I hope you see that video and install the software. I have given the steps in the process. Once you've successfully finished installing the software, all you need to do is go to your search bar and type Anaconda and click on Anaconda Navigator. It will usually take probably 20 or 30 seconds to load. Once it loads, you will see this screen and all you need to do is come down and try to launch Jupyter Lab. Okay, this is the integrated environment where we are going to code in Python. You click on launch. It might take a couple of seconds and it will bring you to this page. Okay. And once this page loads, if you want to create a new file, you can just click on plus create new notebook and you will get a new file. In my case, I've already created a file. I've given it a name Python session. So we can use that to start coding using Python. Okay. So I've given the steps and what we are going to do today. So we are actually going to work with some marketing data and do some manipulations. Okay. Using Python. Let's get started. First of all, even before we start working with the data, in Python, we need to install some packages and import some packages because we will be using the functions of these packages to do manipulation. So in today's video, we are going to use pandas. So we can say import pandas. That's the command. And you can give it an alias name like SQL and say as PD. And we also need to import OS another package because we will use this to actually bring the file from our computer to this interface. Okay. Next step, what we would like to know is to see what is the current working directory. Okay. To get the current working directory, we write a command OS dot get CWD. CWD means current working directory basically. So what this will give us if I run this to run, you can either press on the play button here or you could just do control enter. So first we need to run this command import pandas and OS only then we can actually use the get current working directory command. So I will just run these two. Okay. And now if I run this, so C uses Vyas, right? This is the directory that currently Jupyter lab has access to. So whichever files are in that directory, we can directly start reading it in Python. But for today's video, I am going to use basically C uses Vyas and then within Vyas, I am going to use the folder Python files where I have a sample Python file. Okay. So first step, we need to change the directory to C uses Vyas Python files. How can we do that? I'll go back here. So it's a simple one line command. So you'll say OS dot CHDIR, right? Change directory. And I can just copy this because this part is still the same. And all I need to add is after uh, Vyas, I need to add Python files, right? That's the name of the folder, Python files. Okay. And I can put it in single quotes. So now when I run this, now the working directory would have changed. So when I run this again, let me just type it once more, get current working directory. You see now the working directory has changed to C uses Vyas Python files. So now actually we have access to this folder and we can bring this data, for example. So I'll just click on sample Python to show you what the data entails. So basically it has like the date, then the category of the product, right? Pant, shoe, earring, sunglass, all that. Then some marketing data, number of clicks for that particular category for that day and then number of impressions, conversions, which is like the number of orders, then the cost it took us for advertising and conversion value, which is kind of like the revenue. There's a small interesting thing with this data. As I scroll down to the bottom, once the data finishes, you see there is a random text there, report daily. So some of our files, for example, files we get from Bing advertising reports, usually have a Microsoft logo or something after the report, very similar to this. So we will have to also inform this to Python. So it is able to remove this text when we are actually reading this file into Python. Okay. So how 
can we read read the file this is a csv file as you see comma separated values file i want to read this now in jupyter lab how would i do that it's a simple one line command again let us say we want to store it in a place called data so data is like a data frame where we are going to store the data from that file in the computer so we would say pd dot so we are calling pandas read csv there's already a function like that you can open and simply in double quotes you can give sample python dot csv name of the file dot the extension when you run this it works and then i can just type data dot info to get information about the data okay so when i run this you will get okay it has these columns date category clicks impression and all that and the data types right so this is fine suppose i want to see the first few lines of the data I can type data dot head and run this so i'll get the first few lines right this is perfectly fine however if i want to see the last few lines i have to do data dot tail and now you'll notice something weird so what happens is okay after this line the last two lines you have the nan and then report daily is there but rest are again nan this is because after this particular row this row is completely blank so it gives the na value and here we have this word report daily but the rest are again blank so in order to avoid even pulling these two rows right because our data finishes with this row we could inform python through a command in the read csv part itself so we could say skip footer right basically skip at the bottom and you could say skip two rows right to basically skip this row and also this row and whenever you skip footer you also have to use the command engine is equal to python alongside so now when i run this and the data is now updated and now when i run data or detail it will be good because i've removed those two rows so the last row is the data row right so now we are good to go okay next step suppose i want to create a new column basically click through rate or ctr and i want it to be the ratio of clicks to impressions okay how would we do that in python so you could use the name of the data frame data and say i want to give that column a name ctr could say is equal to then say data of first i want clicks so clicks within single quotes and then divided by data of impressions right as simple as that so the name of the data frame square brackets and then the name of the column and then divide by same whatever you want to use so clicks to impression ratio is ctr so i will run this and now again if i want to just see data i can just type control enter and now you will see we have all our columns plus a new column ctr which is the ratio of clicks to impressions right and ctr has come here already okay great let's move on so when i go back to the info part here right data dot info you see clicks impressions and all are given floating values which is nothing but decimal but date is given an object value object data type however we want to convert date to a you know date or date time right ideally because date is as such a specific data type how we could do that in python is you could just type the name of the column again date of date and you just put an is equal to and type the same thing again date of date okay and then after that just say dot apply of right so you we want to apply something and we would say pd like again calling pandas dot two underscore date time okay we can convert it to a date time type now from object so okay i've run that now if i again type data dot info and run this now you will see the data has got a date time type right we have managed to change it okay great moving on suppose we want to do some filtering with the data right say in this data that we have we want to see only rows where clicks is less than a certain number right say clicks is less than 25000 how would we do that so we could create a new data frame we could call it data clicks below 25000 we can give it whatever name we want we could say is equal to and we would say data of then inside you put data of whichever column you want to filter for here i want to filter for clicks right and then here only you put less than 25000 okay 
So it's basically, so first you open the name of the data frame data and within that give the name of the column which you want to filter then less than 25,000 basically the condition. So now when I run this, now if I want to see data clicks below 25,000, if I run that, this is a new data frame, you will see here we get only values where clicks is less than 25,000. All those rows which had clicks more than 25,000, right? Like 40, 45,000 are all removed, right? So this way we are able to filter data. Similarly, if you want to do a filter where we want to see data only for category pans, we want to remove all the other rows which have other categories. We could also do a simple filter. So say I give it a name data pans, right? And again, the command works very similarly. So you say data of, then data of the column name here is category, right? And then you say double is equal to, remember you should use double equal to, and I would say pans, okay. Let's see if P is caps, yes, P is caps. So we could say that, okay. So as simple as that, right? Data of category, the column and the condition, which is it should be equal to pans. Okay, so now when I run this, now I can just type data of pans. And now you'll see our data set only has rows where the category is pans. Everything else gets removed, right? This is how you can filter data. So now we have been able to filter for pans. I hope this video was useful to you. I will see you again in another video with again some manipulation in pandas. Till then, if you like the video, do subscribe to the channel. I will see you later. Thank you.